And it is a hundred and four degrees still. I think women in the summer should have like a cool pack on their titties. Mm. Big titty cooler. Yeah. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing it. I am not doing it. No, no, no. been drinking that kombucha okay let's get that gut health right i used to drink apple cider vinegar so it doesn't really bother me that much but it's nice to have some different flavors i'm feeling it see real clear true fine glass magnify you like a spyglass number one be my desire like the world and burn like a fire i ain't trying to be at the forefront Thank y'all for coming back to Mingle with your girl yet again. Today we are currently walking outside this morning. It is like the end of June and I have not been in the gym. I have not been walking. I have been active at all. I've just been going to work, sitting down and eating. Yep, pretty much. And I can see it all over my face, so. But yeah, I just wanted to come on, open the vlog, let y'all know what I was up to. I hope that y'all are getting y'all steps in being active this summer. I'll be finding some of the most peaceful slash dangerous places to walk. Man, it was hot outside, but I need to stop by Dee Dee's right quick to see if they got some tank tops because this weather is not what's up. Me and this bang and this black is not going to cut it. I am done with Dee Dee's. I went in. They didn't have any um, tank tops that I was looking for. So, of course, I ended up buying some other stuff that I didn't need. It's not really nothing important or good for me to really show on camera. So, boy, yeah, I did make my little Dee Dee's stop. Now we go back to the crib. Louisiana, baby. Mm. Must, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, the shrimp. Oh. Good morning, everybody. What's going on? It is early this Monday morning. I am feeling good. I'm a little mad though because I was I was good on time, headed to work. And I realized I forgot something, so I had to turn back around, and that's what I'm doing right now. What it is, I take so long to get ready now. <laughs> like, it'd be a lot. I guess it's just me adjusting to having a different morning schedule or what, but I feel like I'm always forgetting something. I'm running late. I, get the, I still get the work on time, but like as far as me like being in the car, I'm always running a little late. Like this morning, I'm running out the door and I'm still taking my vitamins. Like, I guess I gotta wake up earlier to figure something out. That way I'm not always rushing. That's why I never really record a morning routine. 
because I never really am taking my time in my morning routine. So, yeah. What about y'all? Do y'all have like morning routines that take almost an hour or on average, how long does it take you ladies to get ready for work? Let me know down in the comments below because I don't know, I gotta do something. This ain't working. Technically, I'm supposed to stay till 2.30, but, you know, since I like to mingle, just mingle my way somewhere else, but we will see. I hope that you guys are having a great day. Except that you may be feeling all right, but it's not Friday. Most people don't get paid Tuesday, so you didn't just get paid. And it's like, okay, you feeling all right? It's subjective. There will always be haters. So it's cool. Be still, I rise. I ain't gonna hate. I'm feeling all right because I'm at the daiquiri spot. Mm. Can I have my moment? That's a good reason to feel all right. Yeah. There's a lot of stores in the shopping center. It is. I saw that sign. At Bourbon Street Daiquiri. What is that? I thought we, I thought we was getting together. <laughs> what you? Oh. <laughs> I thought about Wait, I forgot. Hold I on, I forgot. That this. Eleven ounces. What are you trying to juggle? Isn't that cute? That's cute. I almost want to say something, but I don't want to, you know. Like, oh, that's I had to cute. act like I've been there before. I don't want to just complain, like, what the fuck is this? It's all good. It's a little bit of. That probably is 22 or 32 ounces. My bad. I know, but I'm just saying. 32 ounces. <laughs> we thought it was. Things we thought it was. Yeah. Wait, we forgot. It's, it's not the big jug, it's a little jug. But I will definitely enjoy this all by myself. Thank you. So kind. Ooh, it feels so good. I think women in the summer should have like a cool pack on their titties. Mm. Big titty cooler. Yeah, it feels great. Oh my god, like instantly cools off my whole body. I like it.
Humble Nick. Fat Nick. What happens when you don't go to the gym you know how y'all be blogging and you driving in the car and in the beginning when you're new to it you don't always know what to say you just be talking and talking and talking and be talking about some um trying to figure out a way to tell the camera all of your business honey let me tell you your girl has personality it's just that i'm used to talking to real people and i know y'all out there I appreciate all of my new little subscribers that have come to mingle with your girl. Trust me, I really, really, truly do. But I'm just, I'm still getting into it about this whole talking to this camera. But I know that you guys are going to be very, very special to me i'm just now starting to get to know some of you lovely ladies i appreciate all of the love and the tips and just i appreciate y'all view for even clicking on my videos coming to see about me and my daughter i believe that um when you have one child it's a very unique and different parenting situation it doesn't look like your everyday typical parent-child relationship and I really enjoy watching other content creators who are parents especially moms who only have one child like daughters and I don't know it's something about that mother-daughter relationship it hit different and I think it's a very beautiful thing to um, just watch how you parent your child and watch yourself teach your kid your your little mini some of the things that you had to learn is definitely just great when you get to that place and that point in your life where you're now having to teach your child whatever it is that you know about life and yeah anyways yes yeah, so I know I don't come on the camera, sit down and talk to you guys a lot because it's just it's just not there yet with me. I don't really have anything specific to talk to you guys about. But trust me, it's coming because I be talking. I am a certified life coach. I do help at-risk youth. I mentor children, youth, um, teenagers, young adults, all of that good stuff. As well as I do like to encourage, motivate, and help out other mothers single moms who are going through things whether they're going through a divorce or a co-parenting situation been there done that shoddy like all of us have and it's not a lot of people that really make it a point to give advice in those eras like you may have people in your family or friends who have gone through it but sometimes it's hard to just talk to your peers or your colleagues about what's taking place in your life because everybody handles your business differently definitely did want you guys to know who i was from from the from the ground up you know what i'm saying because it's a lot of layers to this this here baby right here it is a lot of layers to me and i just don't expose my cards my layers my hands or any of that all at once so uh you guys just click that like subscribe and stay tuned and this we're gonna make it do what it do we're gonna make it do what it do but i appreciate everybody that has come on to subscribe with your girl to watch my daughter and i's journey um yeah it should be exciting and i'm looking forward to growing organically with you guys here on youtube i will check in with you guys later for all of you that did check in with me today i appreciate your like your view your comment and we'll be back to mingle later i've made it to work summer program I get these snacks and I gotta walk around to the classes and pass it out to the kids and then they eat lunch so that's what I just finished doing so now
work now currently driving home to my baby work was pretty chill today didn't do too much the kids just had a few presentations to do they had a carbine presentation um a college presentation all of that good stuff it's just pretty much making sure the kids are prepared for you know after high school where they become little independent people and all of that good stuff but yes we are headed home traffic is not too bad i'm riding in the shade <laughs> it's not as hot as it was so no complaints here headed back to the house maybe take a nap and again aim to go to the gym or at least walk to the park and get some steps in because that's that's been the last thing on my list but i've been trying y'all saw i went for a walk the other day you know when it's hot like that you can't be going outside too much shoot but if y'all getting out walking kudos to y'all i know y'all not in texas that's what i do know Anyways, I'll check in with y'all when I get to the house. I have made it home. Came to monitor her to make sure she cleaning up properly. You know how your kids, when you tell them they need to be cleaning up, but they be doing like, they be doing it the quick way. But it look like she, it look like she's serious. Excuse me, ma'am, can you turn your music off, please? Sorry. Just give me like two seconds. Thanks, man. Anyways, you remember how back in the day when you was younger and you wanted to go somewhere and you always knew that you had to make sure your chores were done before you went anywhere, before you asked your mama for anything, or even if you needed money to do something. You had to make sure the house was clean. So I came home, she's cleaning up without being told. What you about to, what, what you, what you? Hmm. Oh yeah, your friend's supposed to come over, huh? I knew it was a catch. See, we be knowing, cause we done been there already. Look at my sideburn. Anywho, I will come back and talk to y'all when I figure out what I'm doing for the rest of the day. I do know that I bought this protein treatment I think it's called Aphogy that I want to check out. I haven't committed to buying the full bottle, so I just got a small little sample pack. I want to see what it do to my hair before I just buy it. It's like, um, what is it? Step one and step two, and I think I have the daily vitamin leave-in conditioner, but I'll let you guys know if I decide to do it. And yeah, hopefully. It helped bring my hair back to life because it's, it's, it's needing a little TLC, something that I'm not giving to it. But anyway, the reason I why I picked up the little packet is because I've never tried this brand before. I've been looking it up on YouTube and I've heard mixed reviews about it. And I just wanted to try it. So I didn't really want to commit to the full bottle yet because why waste money if it's not going to do what I need it to do, right? So, yeah, I will let you ladies know what happens with this. I may do it tomorrow or possibly this weekend. I don't really wear my natural hair out that much anyways, but I need to bring nutrients back and the softness of it and get it braided and go from there. But, yeah, I don't know what I did. Well, I do know what I did. Like, around November or December, I... Unfortunately permed my hair after being natural for a real long time and it was all cute and all for that first month You know what I'm saying? It was thick and all that but I noticed After the first month my hair definitely started to break off a whole lot So um, I will let you guys know What happens once I put this in my hair? <laughs> 